Alright, welcome back everyone to another episode of Stories from the Unbound Shores. Probably last left off two weeks ago, I think? Oh, long time. So uh, long. Too long! Uh, our party had made their way, uh, with teleportation, back to uh, the city of Mount Mistal. And after doing a bit of follow-up with the uh, Temple of Arathis, ha is currently being escorted uh, to, well, the few feet it is, uh, to the, um, well, it serves as a palace. It's not really a palace, but just kind of, yeah, it's, it's what we got. Um... So that they may have a meeting with the uh, King of Mistal. So that they can inform him of what has transpired over the last five days to a week. Uh, with their clearing of the Forgotten Fortress and what have you. Um, due to some players not... Uh, having their st <laughs> their um, usual uh, equipment to join us, uh, I have turned it back today so that <laughs> people are capable of seeing a little more um, clearly. Although it is still uh, like early to mid evening. Uh, with that. Uh, Feel free to make your way inside. Wait, weren't we going up the other steps yesterday? Or not yesterday, you know what I mean. We had to go to the Temple of Arathis last time in order to... ...explain our reason for wanting to talk to the king and get our um. mission, I believe. And now we're back here. And now we're back here. Okay. Yes. No. That is about the size of it. Whoops, well. What happened? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> Everything. There's no longer an effort. Sure. Wow. Doesn't sound Did like fall through the world? Uh, I didn't fall through the world. <laughs> I, I kind of launched myself through it. <laughs> I went the up direction. Hang on, let me see if I can get me back. Uh, you are sitting but on doink. the top of the door frame. Oh, I thought oh, I saw you. I got it. There you I are. got it. <laughs> Alright, I will I now ask it. permission to open this door. Alright, I got permission. Wait, to open is this the... where the fart chairs were? Why aren't the fart chairs here? I mean, um, that would have been my first question. Because they were covered in farts. <laughs> like, yes, it's no, no, I first the digitation them clean. Remember? They, it, it, they get farty real quick. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Al, do you need me to move you? Uh, yes, please. Oh, I right. hate how Discord does that. Like, ugh. Alright, so, uh, as your approach, uh, your, um, escort from the Temple of Arathis will over and talk with uh, the steward, I guess the, um... I want to imagine that he actually is just standing there with a tankard. Um... Probably not, but if you want to imagine that, go for it. It's too late. Alright, so, and, uh... She will quickly, uh, explain, uh, you know, display some documents and explain uh, why it is uh, that you guys are here and uh, ask if his highness is available. It's not my highness. A 
That's why he said his highness. <laughs> um. Yes, he's... And so then I'll just kind of carry on. Yes, he was getting ready to uh, turn in for the evening, but there's still um, some time for courtly matters. Um, if you'll give me uh, one moment to uh, announce your presence, uh, then you may enter. And he'll uh, just kind of slip inside. Whoa! I didn't know that dwarves could phase through doors. How come you've never done that, Dirk? It's just what I do when someone just kind of opens it slightly and then closes it right after they go back through. No, I want to hear why Dirk has never told me that he can phase through a door. This never came up. <laughs> you never asked, you know? Pain. Fair. <laughs> right. And after a moment, uh, the doors will uh, just open for you. Uh, and you'll see your guy just kind of start heading towards the door. Uh, well, exit door to be specific. Oh. And it says, well, <sighs> this is where we park ways. Uh, thank you. Uh, have a good evening. You too. With more than one token at a time sometimes. Me too. And like, move me, then move Aurelion, then move me, then move Aurelion. There we go. You good with this, by the way, I'm Thomas? The kings and the tanker. Yeah. Nellis? No, probably. That's a new one. Did I say? I heard Nellis. I'm pretty sure I said Thomas. Thomas, did I say Thomas? Oh, Thomas. Yeah, I my game. <laughs> okay. I want to be behind Dirk. I'm uncomfortable being in front. He's the dwarf and all that. Um, did we get a name for this game? Um, we probably did, but I don't remember it. No, we don't. Your Highness, we bring news from the Forgotten Fortress. Got it right this time. Second. How many of the soldiers guarding this place kill me as I enter? Um, none. You, you've been here before. They could be different guards. These ones in particular? No. No, no they cannot. Also, we were escorted in and expected. So, like... I Tales just expect... Of our deeds have reached far and wide. I just expect to turn heads wherever I go. Don't, like, don't get me wrong, most of the eyes in this room are on you, but... I'm like a celebrity. Mm -hmm. uh, no one's, you know, chopping your head off just yet. I noticed uh, that was the case. They're looking for an excuse, too. So... I guess we shall wait until we're addressed. See so you've returned, and quicker than I would have imagined had you come back at all. Did you turn back halfway, or what has happened? I do hope you haven't come to me with nothing. Uh, pass a glance to Dark to see if he'd prefer to lead on this, but... Uh... Um, 
man, you're doing great. Uh, Dirk, is that a like look that Dirk would recognize as uh, Esco wants him to do it, or because like he he would uh, <laughs> if if that's the kind of look that you're giving him? I mean, I I feel like Esco's perfectly uh, capable of of giving this report. Uh, it just feels like it would be more. Uh, let's say he's deferring to you to take the floor should you want it. Given the dwarven circumstance we're in, it seems appropriate. Okay. Um, and if you need, Eskul will say as much. I defer to you in this situation, given our surroundings. Uh, we had some assistance uh, with the, the wind walk spell, which cut our travel time considerably uh, in quite a few directions. Um, we went to the Forgotten Fortress? Correct. Okay. We went to the Forgotten Fortress and dealt with all of the undead that were there. Um, except for uh, we, we were not able to fully deal with the Death Knight. We brought him down once more, so he is going to be gone for uh, last time it was a week. Not sure if it'll be a week. But I, you know, gesture at the urn that we have. <laughs> we'll be able to have a good idea. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Still feels so wrong. <laughs> Just kind of raises an eyebrow at that. Um... We put no. his ashes in there, and they just slowly disappear from there as he makes headway into to reappearing. We used it as a clock last time. The <laughs> I, 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 Esco smiles at Dirk uh, as he as he recounts this, and then and then raises his voice and says, "The important takeaway, Your Highness, is that we have cleared the Forgotten Fortress of the bulk of the enemy. Uh, we have." Uh, what we need, we believe, to deal with the Death Knight. And so it would be, we think, in the Crown's interest, uh, if the Crown desires the Forgotten Fortress return uh, in, unto its sway, uh, to begin moving uh, forces there. We will be able to move ahead of you and should be concluded with our task by the time you arrive. We were hoping that perhaps as we have had such success, uh, it might gain us favor, and that favor would come in the form of access to information that could help us finish the job with the Death Knight. Where is this information you desire to access? Yeah, the, the, the Death... In particular? Sorry. Given that the Death Knight is exceedingly old, uh, we believe that there might be persons, especially those connected to the Archive, uh, that could help us uh, find what we seek. Um, it's possible that it isn't here, but I think that another trip through the Archive, with your uh, blessing, permission, would be beneficial to the job you wish us to do. You may do so. It was our agreement that should you be able to clear the keep that you'll be granted access to the archives. So you shall have it. Excellent. Um, do you know or have a um, estimate as to uh, when it would be best for my soldiers to arrive at the fortress, or how, more accurately, how long it would have to get there. Uh, if you begin moving, say, on the morrow, since it's evening now, uh, we estimate the trip at a march to be six, six days, I think? Seven? Yeah. It would be about, it was the, it was gonna be seven days for, for you guys. Right. 
I don't know if they can march faster or because they're dwarves if they march slower. Um, oh. We're all elves. I think it's more that there's just a lot more logistics involved yeah. in moving that large of a group of people. True, true, true. They're moving any decent number of troops. So I so think like, they will be slower. Like if you're like is that and it, my question is is that an in conversation that you're just having in front of him or? Yep. Sure. All right. Then we're trying to give him accurate information. <laughs> yes. To yep. his point, and he uh, kind of gestures to Dirk. We would need to move a rather large number. As, well, with, given the current state of things, casualties would likely be unavoidable. Uh, during the trip? Yes, I'm sure you encountered several dangers on your tr trip, and, well, the more forces you have, the louder you're stomping. Indeed. I... It has been uh, explained to us in the temples that loud stomping tends to drive dangers away as opposed to attracting it, though. From things that know better, yes. From things that lash out at anything that they can find, not so much. We did some pruning of the hedges along our way there. Uh, it would behoove the crown. I say, like, re a realization dawning in Eskel's eyes, uh, to be uh, apprised that there was a creature that we defeated along our way there called a Gorgon. Um, as the crown might know, they are famous for their devouring of stone. Uh, and after we defeated it, I noticed a small group of drow uh, claiming its remains. I would hazard a guess that you deem this is uh, worth informing they're not um, friends of yours. I do not know any drow on Elysium. I have not made the acquaintance of these, as I avoided detection by them. I don't know what this group's exact motive was, but... I don't think whatever it is will be good for you, or your people here. I am unfamiliar with this creature, and frankly, as most of the monsters that roam this land, but... I will make sure to have myself apprised of um, I... the possibilities at a later time. Just to summarize, I would be concerned that they, these particular people, uh, knew a way to utilize it to tunnel, burrow, or enter this mountain. That is why I thought it would be good information for the Crown to have. Is there anything else that you need or feel uh, requires a report? Um. To the voice in the sky, the things about the statues of for Arathus and Moradin, was one of those from the king, or were they both from the church? Uh, it was... Uh, the Arathis, well, like, the Temple of Arathis kind of wanted the entire site, uh, cleansed as best you could, uh, but the king had specifically asked about the, uh, Statue of Morden. Uh, okay, so then I will say, um, we saw the Statue of Morden, uh, and I can, uh, report to anyone that, uh, needs the information, the work that I estimate would need to be done to bring it back to its proper glory. Very good. I'm sure my steward will either be able to take the list himself or 
direct you to the appropriate people uh, once we are done here. I just imagine, like, Elisari is, like, nudging at the back of these two and, like, whispering, Hey, what about the crystals? And Eskis is like, crystals? Well, this is kind of out of character. I had put messages in Discord, but, um, honestly, I just couldn't remember if we were planning to right. make that request or if we were just gonna assume they weren't gonna grant it. Now I remember what but you're talking about. <laughs> we need them for the items we want made. Yes. Um, yes. Then I, 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 like, again, like, oh! Like, pointing at Melisari, right, that! Turn back to the king. Uh, there was one other thing, uh, your highness. Uh, if we could, uh, petition for... <laughs> access! <laughs> I hit the wrong button, I was trying to slide my screen over. <laughs> ah! Uh, we wished to, uh, petition for access... Uh, to this crystal, and I give oh. the best description I can, uh, as we met a craftsperson uh, who offered to utilize such material uh, to aid us. And we were told that it could be found here. We do... I believe we have a... Uh, Small deposit. If our deed thus far has earned us access to any amount of that, we would appreciate, but we are, of course, at your mercy, your grace. Waiting for Sam to yell at me. Because you, you're you changing between your highness and your grace and things? He's or not a lord, <laughs> yeah, all that. <laughs> I, I do not know what the proper form of dress for this particular king would be. Saying it and realizing, wait, that's for a different rank. He doesn't seem to particularly care. It seems that pretty much any... Uh, title of respect will do in this instance. Um, I believe that can be arranged. It might take us a little bit of time to find them, but I assure you it would be shorter than you finding them yourselves. Uh, to the DM, the amount of time it takes us to wind walk from here to where we need to be, do we know that? Or are we, can we estimate it? Define where you need to be, because I don't know where you're heading next. Say to the Gnomish village, or back to the Forgotten Fortress, since those are equidistant. Um... Or potentially even to go to the other deposit and get them ourselves. Get an idea of... of um, whether it, it would take them less time. Let me pull up the map real quick. We'll play. There's my Google Doc. There. Um. So, it would take you about five days on foot to get to the, uh, Gnomish village. Uh, from here. And then two more days from there to get to the Forgotten Fortress. And that is- So, and you, with a, a single wind walk, you can cover about four, four and a half days worth of travel. By comparison. So 
what you're saying is with our wind walk, it, we wouldn't actually be able to get back, even if we used you, the whole period of time. If you use the whole period of time, you could make it, you could, I would say since you're avoiding obstacles and going in a straight line, um, I'm going to round it up to five days, so you could bring it to the Nomos Village with the full eight hours, or, you know, uh, close to the full eight. But you wouldn't have enough to make it back in the same day. Okay, so whatever time we spend here is cutting into our ability to make it back. I mean, already we're, you know, down like an hour. Yes. Uh, to a certain extent, yes. What else had we planned to do other than getting the crystals, talking to the king? Oh, the Hall of Histories, too, we need to spend some time in. Right, and that was where I figured when he said we'll have to find the crystals, I was thinking, okay, cool, he can true, do that true. while we're doing research. But now I'm trying to understand, like, how much traveling we'll still need to do once we've spent all the time required here, and then use whatever's left of Windwalk. It sounds like... You know, if we use up another three hours here, we'll have still days of walking ahead of us after Windwalk runs out. Alright. Well, it just means that we'll have another chance at clearing the roads for the army. Boy, that sounds weird. <laughs> they should be clearing the roads for us. I mean, I suppose either way it's applicable, correct? That the roads will get cleared? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, I was reading and typing a thing, so I didn't. So the last thing I heard was something, something, three hours wind walk. <laughs> We're trying to determine what the best use of our time is, and I was hoping that we would do some. Or, so we're kind of. It's kind of an internal discussion, but uh, we're thinking that we'll go to the Hall of Histories to see if we can find anything more specific uh, about. Uh, the events at the Forgotten Fortress, uh, why um, Eleanor might have been taken, uh, see if we can figure out what this guy's actual oath had been when he became a paladin, any kind of information like that. Meantime, in getting the crystals for us, then once we've done those two things, using the time left to us in Windwalk, to begin traveling uh, back toward the Forgotten Fortress, uh, taking the rest on foot. That's, you know, option one, let's call it. Uh, another option is instead to use Windwalk to go to this other deposit we were told about of the crystals and mine it ourselves. Well, one thing I would like to clarify, um, just out of character, when he says go and find it, he does not mean, like, go and mine it from somewhere under the mountain. Like, they have some, um, like, stored somewhere. They just need to find it in the storage. That I know. Alright, I just want to make it clear so that, like, it doesn't, like, it, in all, like, within all reasons, should be significantly faster to just wait for them to have the to find the crystal as opposed to going and finding it yourselves because you have an idea of where caves might be that might have some there's just kind of a, a lot of ifs if, tr if you try and go get it yourself is all i'm saying so just share that knowledge with the party um so that we can uh, better make our decision. 
I would certainly like to spend a good amount of time in the Hall of History, so... See if, if they've made any headway on, uh... Determining the cause of the damage we discovered last time. So I think that may be our best course of action. Thank you. Uh, Aurelian, uh, Al, any input on this? Other character, I stepped away for a minute, so... So we're trying right, to... Sum up. Where do you want to go next? We're, uh... We're thinking we're gonna go to the All of Histories to, to dig out any more information now that we've kind of got another perspective from the ghost. Uh, to see what else we can figure out about what happened back then. Uh, meanwhile, the king is going to uh, find the crystals that we need to make our magic items. Is there anything that you wanted to talk to, ask the king about, or for? I wasn't in... Aurelian wasn't in the library, that was ten on. So... Probably I'm just going to ask. Um, do you have a, a some sort of library of reference materials? Maybe um, I have something I want to research. Reference materials to what? Uh. Fighters, fighting Every styles, time. fighting... I'm certain that the Temple of Court points you in the right direction. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. If that is all, I have some dinner tickets to you. I, I believe that Al hadn't contributed anything. Um... My apologies. So, that statement has yet to arrive, then. Um... I don't really have anything. I will accompany for Hall of His the Hall of Histories, though. Um. Then, I guess at that point... He would give us that statement. We'll go to the Hall of Histories and uh, Aurelion to the Temple of Cord. I suppose that is the best course around. Um, I don't speak Dwarven, and I already know that everything in the Hall of Histories is in Dwarven, as it should be. Uh, so perhaps. We'll leave our dwarf and our scholar to that, and I will accompany Aurelion to the Temple of Cord. Seems reasonable to me. Shall we set a place then? Yes, we should met a set met set a meeting place in time, unless somebody uh, has an extra sending spell slot. I'm pretty sure I nobody mean, has that. You spell. have the sending stones. Oh yeah, I do. We do. Oh, and they're reset now. Just putting that out there as long as you're talking about the spell. <laughs> okay, <this> is... <laughs> um, yes, uh, unless uh, ascending is, is sent first, why don't we uh, plan on uh, meeting in front of the inn we stayed at last time? Uh, three hours from now, since that should be about halfway through our uh, wind walk time. That sounds reasonable. Okay. Then, uh, Al, uh, whichever group you wish to go with, uh, two people are going right now that I know of to the library, two people are going to the Temple of Cord. I will join for the library. Okay. Then... And by library, we mean Hall of Histories, correct? Yes. Yes. Alright. So, I will start with the Temple of Cord, as that has 
Well, that, that's a physical location on this board, whereas the Hall of Histories does not currently exist. Um, oops. Uh, so, I'll move Aurelion. So as to free up your space, but the Temple of Cord is the orange building on the uh, far left of the top layer. As uh, Aurelion should be able to direct you as he lived here for a while. Oh, that's right. Yes, I forgot about that. Uh, he teleported away. I don't know where he's teleported to. The orange building on the top tier, far left. Right. I've been distracted. I do I not have. I see them. Uh, I do not have most of these buildings populated. So if you give me a minute, I can throw some NPCs in here. Uh, so, Rolan, what is it you're wishing to try and find here? What do you do I want you find... inside? Oh, I'm trying to find out information about barbarians, but I don't know what barbarians are, so... Oh, we gotcha. still needed to find some medical experts to tell us why you had memory loss. Uh, oh, yes, descriptions. I should do those. So, uh... As you enter the uh, Temple of Cord here, you'll see several um, uh, warriors of varying uh, races and styles of fighting, uh, either sparring uh, on kind of the pile or in the um, mud pits here in the middle. And some uh, practicing on the train dummies that uh, line the south wall. Along with uh, some just kind of with some uh, people dressed in the adornments of cord. Uh, just kind of keeping watch over things, making sure that nothing's... Uh, that everything is as it should be. Are they actually mud pits and not sand? Uh, well, one would be mud, one would probably be sand. <laughs> Woo! But, yeah. Well, just because you're a lot more likely to run into mud on this particular continent uh -huh. than sand. So, it is designed to be more practical uh, in nature. Let's see. They're there. Uh, row one. See here. That's not so you're just so do you just wander around or how is it you go about trying to find out what barbarians are i'm going to do i see like um someone that looks like they're in charge or at least um there are a few the people group. um you know that have that might be clerics or paladins uh that are kind of overseeing the um, sparring that's going on. Uh, that seems like a decent place to start, as this is the Temple of Cord. Uh, I'm going to go up to a cleric who doesn't look like he's super busy. All right. Uh... Oh, right, you came for yourself. I will take care of that. Oh, 
Oh, that person looks fancy. The elf's eyes are super unsettling. Whose eyes are super unsettling? Or is that just the elf in the temple accord? Uh. The fancy elf. <laughs> you got big eyes. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> just like the idea of Aurelion towering over them. He's a very short elf. I mean... The original elves were all much shorter than humans. <laughs> D&D 3.5. Which is I mean, dumb. they're still kind of short in this edition, but I ignored that because that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to be, like, short but live. Oh, there is a half. We are fair folk elves, not Keebler elves. <laughs> Change my mind. But we make great cookies. We can do both. So, are you just uh, following Aurelion, or are you doing something else here? Uh, um, I mean, I was following along, you know, just to make sure that nobody was uh, getting lost, but I was also interested to see what things were like in the Temple of Another God. So, All right. I would be looking about, uh, definitely peaked, watching the fights, and uh, I would not... Uh, Turn down and offer to practice. All right. Um. As most eyes would be on the fights. Like, oh, well, let me start with. Uh, so, Aurelia, you go up to uh, one of the clerics. Doesn't seem to be particularly busy. And then what? Uh, wait, it did Haskell doesn't join me? He's on his own just paying no. attention to this stuff? No, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm also here just to, you know, because I'm interested in Aurelion. <laughs> Wanna know what's... see if he finds out anything more about what's afflicting him. Oh no, I'm just watching the, um, screen. Yeah. I moved my token over to you. Okay. So... I look at this person. And I go, ah, excuse me, I don't know if you could help me with um, uh, a little issue. A little issue? Are you insured? You no, seem no, it's fine. like that. Um... I kind of, I'm going to step to the side a little bit so that Haskell is in better view. <laughs> Boy, uh, this could be read a lot of ways. <laughs> I see. She draws her sword. Please roll initiative. Hey, I got, like, a 22. Well, you're doing better than she is. I am oblivious to all this. So I, got, so I just carry on and go, Yes, um, it has been brought to my attention that I have, um... And I looked at Haskell, hold, I'm hold, like... Hold up, we, we, we need to <laughs> have this go in the appropriate order here. <laughs> Literally yeah, just, just like, kind of watching the fight and got an ear out to what they're talking about, and I just hear steel coming out of leather and go, uh-oh. <laughs> uh. Um, so, let's see. Uh. Can we draw an initiative, too? Yes, please. Okay. Uh. 
Oh, really? I'm trying to get Esco killed. Oh, thank you, advantage. Yeah, that's a 22. Alright. Oh, no, 21. And Eskel had a 22? No, I actually had a... No, wait, there's another, sorry. Uh, yes, I had a 22. What? Sorry, I still had your your character sheet up, because I had been checking the so dice early. you needed. Alright. Um... Two more real quick. Turn order, edit turn order, add these two doofuses. All right, that's the turn order because I rolled crap. <laughs> Wait, are those guys coming at me too? <laughs> yes, because uh, as she draws uh, her weapon, she will uh, uh, shout uh, to arms. <laughs> And of course, you know, I'm in a city, so I'm not currently armed. My sword is sheathed and my shield is slung. I'm gonna need to spend my action getting my shield up. Alright. But you'll have to tell uh, me what happens on their turns first. Nope, you're, you're first. I am? Oh, yep. God. I forgot it's the center. I was looking all the way over at the left. I'm like, the human warrior and everything. Okay, so I'm spending my, my turn uh, getting out my shield. Uh, which right. has a symbol of Bahamut on it. Uh, seeing these attacks coming. And say, hey, nobody challenged me yet! <laughs> this doesn't seem sporting or in the... In the uh, What's the word? Say in the. Up to the ideals of, of Cord. So Alright. Uh, I, I can't take a defensive action because I'm using my action to equip my shield. So, that's, that's it. Oh. Probably move myself back to the wall so that I actually can defend myself a little bit. Alright. Um, so that's action, movement, and I said a thing. Alright, I'll respond to it after Aurelion's turn. Uh, Aurelion, your turn. I'm just gonna rewatch this and go, just turn to her and go, What's going on? Uh, I need your help with something. Yes, I'm helping with it. There's a no, trap. No, I haven't. Issue. Haskell's fine. No, I, there's an issue with a, a problem that I have. She just gives you the most confused look. Trying to figure out what you're babbling about. And then, Eskel, you'll hear from the, um... Individual over here. Uh, your kind don't get challenges. They get executions. And he'll begin, uh, moving towards you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's seven. So be. Yeah, that's 30. Right? Yeah. So then he will dash to here. Uh, 
Ah, uh, and then this one will follow suit. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Five, ten, fifteen, and has she will... any of them initiated an attack, or am I just being surrounded? Uh, they've dashed, so they were oh, okay. uh, mechanically <laughs> unable to make attacks. Gotcha. This one, however, has not. She only walked. Right. So she's not making an attack. Does a 24 hit you? Yeah, even with my shield. <sighs> That's what 19s do, I guess. And then maximize damage. Oh, joy. Um, please take 12 points of piercing damage. We're off to a good start. Uh, piercing, I don't just any of that, so... Damage. So, I'm going to take this thrust into my side and say, Ah, I think there's been a misunderstanding! Ah, uh, alright. Ah. Uh, uh, it's my turn again. Uh, just one second, I need to... There should be some form of response to that. What misunderstanding could there be? You're within our city. You need to be removed. I'm a paladin of Bahamut, and I'm here as a guest of your king. Um, royal persuasion, I suppose. That's a 13. 13. That's... You see... Uh, the one who uh, struck you will... Not... She's not gonna, like, sheath her weapon, but she just kind of lower it from a striking position. Into, you know, kind of less aggressive... Is there anything else you'd like to do in your turn? Yeah, I'll use my action to uh, be uh, defensive, defensive action, and I'm going to not be surrounded. One, two, four, five, six. Kind of scuttle my way out of there. Okay. All the opportunity attacks, which are now at disadvantage. Yep. So this is probably going to miss. Um, let's see. Does a 14 hit you? No. Alright. And then... Does a 16 hit you? No. Alright, so the... Uh, uh, Warrior and Paladin both miss. Uh, and... I mean, Elf, who seems to have been swayed, swayed somewhat by your words, uh, lets you, uh, worm your way free. Anything else? Um, I can draw an item. Uh, I'm not going to draw my sword. I'm going to draw out the, the holy symbol of Bahamut. And hold it up once I am out of their, uh, Circle. Semicircle. Alright. Aurelia, your turn. Uh. So I move. No, wait, no. Did he. He gotta wait. So I'm just going to turn to face. 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 Then I go. Can we talk about my problem now? <laughs> you 
You do realize we, we have a, something a little more pressing at the moment, don't you? There guards outside the temple. Um, like to find outside. Like right outside the door? No. On the top layer? Yes. But, uh, he's been walking around the city unmolested by the guards. What? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've just come from the king. Literally. The pair of us. You want high or low? Uh, high. All right. Then roll persuasion with advantage. Oh, that's not. Let's hope that the first. Let's hope one of these is. Just... It's a whopping 10. Alright. Even. So what that leads me to believe is that you've been helping him sneak past the guards. Perhaps we should deal with you too. I kind of like my shoulders just drop. I go. Like staring at Aurelia's back, like oh my gosh. <laughs> Really this is, reaching. This is how we die. <laughs> A little bit. I. I'm. Like, when it gets to this guy's turn, well, maybe he's right. You do seem a bit over zealous there, and if someone else is. Defending him. Perhaps there is something to this. So they kind of start bickering, more or less. Like, they still have their eyes on Eskel, but no one's really taking uh, offensive actions for, for the moment, so I'm going to put it back, uh, like, take it back out of initiative. I'm going to turn to ask him, have you had dealings with followers of Cord before? Wait, like, sort of lower the the holy symbol in my hand a bit and just look at rally on for a protracted moment and say, this isn't just followers of Cord. This is how I get treated in most places that aren't the Isle of Heaven. No, I mean, have you had dealings with followers of Cord before? Yes. On the Isle of Heaven. They always like this. <laughs> they like to fight! They don't like to ask questions first? That usually gets in the way of fighting. I'm not being flippant here. I mean, it, it it does. They like to fight. They fight first and ask questions if people are still conscious at the end of the fight. Alright. Um, I'm gonna put this side on pause here for a moment mm -hmm. and jump over to the other three. So, 
Al, Dirk, and Melsari, you head over to the um, Hall of Histories. My racist yeah. senses are tingling. <laughs> Something's happening to Eskel. <laughs> I'm not safe anywhere. <laughs> Uh, it'll uh, be all initiative that when he calls for it, just because Dirk knows. <laughs> you will be sent with a um, a guard escort, you know, just of one, uh, so that they can kind of convey that you are intended to have access now. Oh, as as I'm gonna inform the guard that I'm going to begin casting comprehend languages to save as much time as possible, and then begin casting Comprehend Languages. Okay. Uh, he allows you to do so. I wasn't asking permission. <laughs> I'm aware. He does not care. So, what is it in particular that you three are looking for? And Al, what are you going to be doing while you're there? I don't know, I just... Mm. Al just did not want to go to the temple, of course. Alright. Clean cut reason, as to. Um, I want to start by seeing if I can find, um, someone that we saw last time and ask about, see if they remember me for one thing, um, and ask about the, uh, damage tablet thing, see if they've, if they've any new information on that. You know, after I finish casting Comprehend Languages. <laughs> that takes ten minutes. Then, uh, you'll be able to find, um, a, a guard you recognize, uh, and he will remember you and say, Ah, oh, it's you. Uh, what was your name again? Uh, my name is Melisari. Melisari. Yes. Uh, outsiders are not particularly common uh, occurrence down here. And we are behooved to uh, make note of any exceptions to the rule. Is there something you needed? Well, I was first looking to find out if there was any new information on that, um... I don't know what I call it, etching? That related to the Death Knight Atlas. And his pillage, I suppose, of the Forbidden Fortress, Forgotten Fortress. Said it right in character, I promise. Yep. Well, we do not know who did it, but we know who it was done for, or at least we have our suspicions. Done for, um, as in on, on behalf of? Indeed. Is it safe to assume that that was Atlas? I suppose that's possible. But... Well, what are your thoughts? Honestly, upon investigation, our primary suspect would be the Arch Lich. The Arch Lich? Yes, Vecna. Ah, yes. Interesting. This knowledge is rather 
um, small, easy to be um, snuffed out, and not of strong importance to most, and the one it would be of particular importance to have removed wouldn't have an uh, atlas, as you uh, said his name was. It would be doubtful he'd have a way of accessing this hall. At least not him especially not himself, but I doubt he'd have underlings that would be um that wouldn't be easy to spot. Indeed. Sadly, the damage is done. There's no, not really anything that can be done to repair it. Oh, but if it was someone working on behalf of Vecna, then I expect they were um, interrupted. As in other words, it's disappearance would be absolute. Not just chunks and bits. Yes, one would think so. Is there any way to determine yeah. how long ago the damage occurred? Uh, that I'm not particularly aware of. I know it involved some form of magic, so perhaps someone more inclined to that can tell you, or maybe even yourself. But I do not know. Very well. I thank you for this information. I will uh, perhaps take a look at it, if I may. You my guess. Your group is in a, um, found themselves in a rather fortunate circumstance, as you were on your guard, and uh, when it was discovered, and discovered by you, it more or less rules you out as a suspect. In other words, you would not have been granted access down here. As a matter of fact, yes, I would hope so. Revoked. Yes, I can imagine it's a very concerning occurrence for you. I hope you find what you're looking for down here. Thank you. I think it would benefit all of us if we are able to. Alright. I want to go look at that tablet again. Alright. While you do that, what is Dirk doing? Uh, I mean, Dirk is here to help her work through anything that she needs to be reading through. So, for okay. this conversation, Dirk didn't have anything to contribute, so he'll be following her, and then... Uh, so you, you head over to the, um, kind of, uh, the section of stone, which details, uh, which previously detailed uh, the uh, only known account of uh, what the happened at the fortress. the fortress. Indeed. Uh, what is it you wish to do once you're there? Uh, I really want to try and figure out how long ago it was so we can maybe help them narrow down who might have been around at the time. Because I think that is very curious. I am very curious about this. Alright, I'm sorry. My, my brain absolutely checked out there. 
I heard um, curious, and that was it. Yes, I am curious about Vecna's involvement in event, essentially, and I want to see if I can try to help them figure out, like, narrow down a suspect list by, by trying to get a rough time. But I want to see if I can figure out when, if there's any way of figuring out when. Okay. Arcana. I don't even know if any of this would work. Um. Your particular talents tell you that there's likely a divination spell of some sort that would uh, that might be able to discern this, but you're not sure if it would be um, possible by uh, mundane means. But you can certainly try. Alright, well I'll try. What so, spell? Uh, give me roll Arcana if you wish. I need to go double check which spell it is in particular because I was thinking of one but I have <laughs> lost its name. I have rolled an 18 Arcana. Alright. Then uh, from the way the stone looks, uh, you recognize it to not be a spell that necessarily did it, but some form of uh, magically uh, imbued acid. Uh, you just kind of eat Magic away the acid. Used to eat away the uh, the face of the rock. The rock is tripping you. Anyway. Not that kind of acid. <laughs> Damn, that's a shame. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> hmm. So short of like divination or wish, what would figure things out? Let's see, I was here a second ago. That's not it. That's divination? Weird. Identify probably wouldn't do it, right? Um as you've just realized it's not a spell. Uh, you know that Identify wouldn't work. Identify would work? It would not. It would need to be a yeah, I so. the effect of a spell or a magic item. Which would work if you had the magic item, but all you have is its results. Wait, what? You don't have the item, you only have something that was affected by what might have been an item. Yes, okay. I was gonna ask a question, I forgot. Yeah, I was thinking of an older edition. Uh, seems like I might have to make something myself, but at least uh, for the time being, uh, the things that could find out when or who might have done this generally involve using a divination spell that would ask someone else. Like commune, divination, the the spell. Uh, uh, commune with nature, perhaps. If you can uh, contact a um, nature, like a Kind of like an earth spirit or something that was in the area, it might know, uh, or contact their plane. And these are all higher level, aren't they? Yeah, I think the lowest of those is fourth, but that's a cleric spell, so you wouldn't even get the first you'd get, I think, is fifth. Yeah, rude. All right, well, let's see um, if we can. 
<laughs> find something else, I guess. What? I want to put this on the record. Next time uh, you have some free time, let me know, because I'd like to give you some better divination spell options. Because <laughs> honestly, the the options like well, well, some of them are quite good. It's just like one or two of it are really worth it. I kind of like to expand your options since it's kind of your your thing. My wheelhouse. Well, let's, I guess, just try to focus in on um, what may have, might have happened at the Forbidden Fortress. Maybe see if we can, Forgotten Fortress, maybe see if we can find out information on Eleanor, why she was taken, etc. That might be the most helpful course of action. And I'm proposing this to Dirk. We know where we would find that information. We can try asking someone. You ask a new guard or the same guard? Yeah, I guess the same guard. <laughs> All right. Uh. And let's give this guy a name, since we're talking to him a third time. And then never again. So we're gonna call him Thorin. So you go back to Thorin. Is there something I can help you with? Um, Malsari, was it? Indeed, Thorin. Um, we were wondering if, if you know where we might find, if there's any more information about what may have happened at the Forgotten Fortress leading up to this attack. Leading up to it? Indeed. It's, um, we've, we've come across information that is, is quite curious, a woman trapped there. We wanted to see if we could find more information on her. I don't know if you would... Uh, for something like that, I'm not sure you'd find it down here, as this generally covers things that we would regard as historical events. Uh, what you might be more interested in is some sort of... Uh, activity log if something exists if or such thing a did. personal journal to someone who uh, was there if such things do exist do you have thoughts on where we might locate them well <clears throat> a place you might locate them is simply the library but, um, given uh, the king's connection to the place, um, I expect there may be, what you're looking for may be in his private collection. Okay. Well, we'll be seeing him again a little later anyway, so sounds like I'll try to find something else here in the meantime. Thank you. As you were. All right, I don't know, Dirk. Those those were my uh, thoughts on this. Uh, is there anything else that you have interest in here for us to be biding our time until we need to go and meet with uh, the others? Good question. What? Okay, okay, they have information on historical events, right? Yep.
Would that um, myth about that wizard, would they potentially have information on that here? Get a little time with that, maybe? Um, yes, I suppose. Um, uh, given when you first heard about it, you know, we're being much closer to, like, the, the new injuries uh, than where you currently are. Okay. All right. Well, let's go wander over yonder then. All right. All right. I do. Uh, it's gonna be hard for you to spot it because for you to read something with comprehend languages, you have to touch it. Yeah. So, do you describe it to Dirk or something so that he might have a chance to just kind of skim through? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Um, look over it. <laughs> well, there is something. There is something of a myth regarding a wizard who sought out well, many different things, really. Um, supposedly, he came to find a vast store of knowledge hidden in desert somewhere. Um, and um, what? Out of character, would I be would I be familiar with a particular like area? That she would be referring to by calling it the desert. Yes, because like <laughs> on the world map, there is basically one big desert. Like okay. there might be some smaller regions that are desert esque, but if someone ever says the desert, uh, th there's one place that anyone in the world would assume that's where you mean. Okay, cool. I just wanted to know if that was something that I should be seeking clarification about, or if that was clear. Uh, if you look to the world map, it's in the southeast. Okay. So yes, general description. Myth. Wizard sought out store of knowledge in desert. And um, the only thing that ever returned was ascending, which appears to be a riddle of some sort. Is there a name that I can also be looking around for, or...? Um... So he's referred to as a wizard of many names, as the name changes based on who's telling the tale. Do I know some of those names that I could give to Dirk and hope um, that? Yes, you give them to Dirk. We're, we're going to go with that because I don't want to try and make up four names that we're not going to actually use. Yeah. <laughs> so th these are some of the names that he has gone by in the tales. I don't know which particular name he might have gone by in retellings here, but it's pleased to start. All right. Um, and I, I we, we know like the general vicinity of where we might be finding this. And so now it's just a matter of like, you have like a kind check. of, yeah, you kind of have like an age range uh, as Mel, sorry, uh, was, around before the, the tales started, so she has a general idea of... I'm uh, old. I'm, I think I'm older. That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, some investigation checks, please. Okay. Well, that uh, was a bad roll. <laughs> Uh, I, I, got, I got 23. Unfortunately, you can't read. <laughs> I can touch the spines. Okay, let, let's let's do it this way. Uh, you Should guys can either him? both roll with Mel, sorry, disadvantage, or Dirk can roll at advantage. Uh, Dirk's gonna roll at advantage. <laughs> okay. 
All right, and we'll just I call the last one a wash. Well, I mean, I could just roll one more d20. Yeah, but I want to give you a better chance. Okay. <laughs> With another four on die, I'm going to laugh. Yeah. Uh, that is a 20 on die and a five on die, so advantage was useful oh. there. <laughs> um, so my investigation is a 21. <laughs> You know, I honestly expected it to be a 19. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, took, I took the int bonus and uh, Eskel took the wisdom bonus. Right. I thought I was going to around for some reason. Uh, okay. So. Uh, you are able to find it. Uh, you're even able to find it fairly quickly. Um, it's... You don't see... Uh, mo it's mostly just appears to be a, another uh, retelling of the story. Um, is there something okay. specific you're, you're looking for as you uh, comb through it? <laughs> well then while you guys think on that I'm gonna go over to the other two sounds good <laughs> so back over at the temple of cord where tensions are high but swords are no longer being swung uh Eskel and Aurelion. Do you stay and ask questions? Do you leave? Do you attempt to de-escalate things further? Well, Do you attempt to escalate things further? We're here, hoping to learn some information about my friend. He has loss of time when he gets into fights, but he doesn't take injuries. I thought perhaps people so experienced in combat might be able to answer those questions for us. I thought that. My friend also thought that. <laughs> and I agreed with him. Out of some mumbling and discussion, it's like... Mm, and they kind of turn back towards you. Uh, eyeing you up and down, seeming to actually look at you for the first time, as opposed to just seeing, hey, look, purple thing, let's kill it. I get a medic. I mean, given that Drow and Undead are the, the primary things to try and kill people around here, it's kind of warranted. I just want a medic. No, you can't have medic. You could have a medic, but you can't have medic. I want a medic. That's what I said. What about I'm, a I'm medic named medic? Uh, no, no. Ugh. I haven't seen That's medic exactly since three five. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do that justice, anyways. Um. <sighs> All right. Um. Those symbols of Bahamut on your armor. Were put there by mortal hands, but this one cannot be faked. I say showing up, showing off the, the pendant. This one was granted me directly. And one who does not serve Bahamut cannot carry it. Uh, the elf, uh, slowly walks over, uh, to get a closer look. Uh, stopping a bit out of arm's reach. I still have no weapon drawn. I've got my shield out and this pendant in my other hand. Um, 
My group and I cleared the Forgotten Fortress for the King of Mount Mistal, and we continue to serve his purposes. She kind of shakes her head. Like, those guards need to be more specific in the future. When they say that they spotted a drow in the city, that we're not supposed to stab it. So if you are done with the stabbing of this drow, would you please try to help my friend? He just kind of glances over at the other two and turns back to you. Uh, I'll see what I can do, but for your own safety, I would suggest still steering clear of him. Him? Uh, she... Uh, sorry. I just drew with my mouse. <laughs> Bing. This guy. Oh, okay. Is he human or dwarven? Uh, he is human. Okay. He was, uh... The one that seemed, uh, most zealous and reluctant in... Stopping. Sure. If I need to face him to please Cord and see an end to his pursuit of me, then I will do that. But please see to my friend. Let's see what we have here. Uh, she turns back to her early on. Alright, so now that Things have been cleared up. So what? What is your problem exactly? Uh, from what I understand, yeah, I kind of black out in the middle of fights, but I don't stop fighting. Um, I feel quite good. Well, then it seems asking you more questions may be a little fruitless. Yeah, I wasn't really aware of the problem until I met Haskell here and his group. You were there. Haskell, was it? Haskell. Haskell As Trenier. What can you tell me about him when during his, um, during the, the times he has forgotten. In general, it is after a fight has broken out. Um, sometimes it is after he has been wounded. Uh, other times, simply in the midst of an engagement with an enemy in combat, he becomes hyper-focused on the enemy. Uh, and continues fighting uh, in spite of any wounds he might receive. Uh, and often after the enemy has fallen, which is why we became concerned. I see. It lasts for some time uh, before we can get him to uh, cease, at which point he becomes exhausted uh, and does not remember any of his actions or words. Not that he often says much. So... We described his symptoms to a healer, but they didn't have any recommendations about it. I thought perhaps it was some sort of a battle trance that he was entering. Well, you... May not be far off. I really am. Um, did something happen to you when you were young, or perhaps even recently? Something that might drive you to anger? Uh, nothing that comes to mind, no. Um, uh, 
I have heard of others like this. It's most common among the um, larger races. Uh, orcs, half orcs, uh, uh, Goliaths, when you can find them. Uh, we tend to refer to them as berserkers. Once enough blood has uh, been spilled, they. Well, they don't lose control of themselves. They don't generally uh, lose their memories. Uh, they do tend to get more aggressive and surprisingly more effective. But their, while their defense is lacking, their <laughs> ability to crush whatever stands in front of them is not. Does this sound about right? Who's she saying this to? Uh, Eskel. Uh, I guess kind of both of you, but kind of while facing Eskel. Uh, earlier, I'm just kind of like shrugging. Can mm -hmm. I get the question one more time? Uh, did you hear the description? Of the Berserkers, yes. Yeah, all right. And she was just asking if that sounded right. Um, uh, he's never mentioned any such lineage or training. Um, I, I kind of look at Aurelion searchingly. Mostly, I was worried that he had suffered a head injury. It's possible. It. There always does seem to be something supernatural about them, but as far as we can tell, there's no bloodline uh, related, and on occasion, physical training can attain the same results. But every once in a while, there's someone who is a bit more naturally gifted. But I can't say I've ever heard of an elf. Uh, drawing upon such rage. Mm. I don't know. Had this happened to you before you met us early on? Thinking back uh yes i imagine that was what it was um outside the city several a couple of years back i was attacked by a group of bandits and i blacked out and i woke up no more bandits he kind of plays his eyebrow at this Initially, I thought that someone had come along and helped me, or had stopped the bandits. I thought that maybe they thought I was dead, too, or because they didn't hang around. But, uh, no, it's not looking like that's what happened. Um, if it is this, um, berserker thing, is there something he can do about the memory loss? I have an idea. There are some ailments, particularly those of the mind, which are rather difficult to uh, deal with using magic as well they're just difficult i'll leave it at that but uh, 
If I were to hazard a guess, there could be a few things. Perhaps it is part of himself that he simply does not wish to acknowledge and thus forces himself to forget or or that there is something that has happened to him in the past that was very traumatic that has left him with anger at points that is just bubbling below the surface waiting to come out but you... as it is not something he wishes to remember he remembers neither the incident nor when it surfaces are you bubbling right now Aurelion? I don't think I am So, for the first one, I have a potential solution. For the second one, I can't really uh, say on that. You uh, might actually have an easier time uh, looking for answers in some of the other cities on this continent where half orcs and on occasion orcs are a bit more prevalent as they seem to much more commonly uh, uh, fight like this. What if you wish to try uh, my potential solution? It's rather simple. We try and get you to do it on purpose, as opposed to by accident. That would likely be more useful. And, well, as it's my best guess as to how one might start that. Get angry. Be on the side of a losing fight. Give in to the anger that you feel, perhaps. Or a desire to win. Or whatever it is that drives you. In short... He needs to be in a fight, preferably a losing one. Well, that seems like the kind of thing you could arrange with all of these capable fighters here. Indeed. If that's what a... you want to do, Aurelia. That's what I thought. Was, I, just, I thought that was like a hint that three of those guys there were going to jump me. <laughs> oh no, we have no intention of putting you in a fight that you wish to be in. But if this potential solution uh, sounds good to you, we can certainly arrange it. As this would be a um safer method to test my theory as opposed to out on an actual battlefield um i suppose so okay now uh she is going to step over and uh clear these two from the uh, pit here. Alright. Take your place. Uh, she just kind of gestures to the um, 
Mud pit. Nervously. The head into it. Uh, is this, like, uh, where do you want to be? Just on the sides, in the middle? <laughs> Anywhere is fine, really. All right. And then she'll turn to the other two uh, that are wearing markings of cord. Well, you two were itching for a fight earlier. Now's your chance. As they will uh, turn and uh, kind of enter. And so here's my question. Do you want to go through this turn by turn or just kind of describe it a bit more cinematically? Uh, what does the cinematic like? What does that look like in the game? Maybe it's like cinematic. Kind of... Give it a shot. Alright. So the. The paladin and human will approach, and after a signal is given from the elf, who I, I need to give these people names, but it's been so long already, uh, you'll have a feeling uh, wash over you, uh, and you are intuitively aware that the spell Death Ward has been cast on you. Okay. So that, uh, and you see kind of the same thing happen to them. So you, you know that. Uh, Did we have yeah. a long rest? I think that was us at the beginning. Yeah, yeah we had fine. one. Yeah, we have. So I should have Max Health. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Max Health, Max Rages, no exhaustion, whatnot. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh,. These two will begin uh, just kind of once uh, it starts, they'll dash forward, making as many swings at you as they can, trying to get on uh, opposite sides and kind of make it hard to defend against both of them at once. And as you're more or less taking a beating from their um, superior training, you will start to feel kind of uh, in uh, like an anger well up inside or whatever it is you wish to describe it as something that drives you to want to win. Backed into a corner. And so, uh, unless you object, I'd s say that uh, yeah, you do end up raging, but the question for you is, uh, do you remember afterwards or not? It's like, uh, whether you, like, so, let me rephrase that. There would be two questions. One, do you kind of try and lean into it? And two, if you do, uh, do you remember or not? Because since we've not super discussed the uh, the origins of your rage and whatnot, I don't want to like force this on you. So it's your choice yeah. of whether or not this solution works. If I lean into it, I think afterwards remembering flashes makes sense. Like rather than remembering the whole thing, just starting to remember bits. All right, so not all the way there, but progress. Yeah. Okay. And um, so then I'd so then you'll come out of it not entirely remembering the fight, but remembering bits and pieces uh, enough to know that while well, you weren't quite the victor. You certainly went down swinging and took one of them with you. 
well, not like to death, but you know, made their um, death ward go off. At which point they, you know, withdraw. As that is the point of the spell. And as you kind of start to come to, more or less, you'll uh, notice several new rips and tears in clothing. Uh, but a, um, you also get a sense of strong respect from those around you. Pretty much anyone who witnessed the battle while in the temple. As anyone here would respect respect strength or the and or the ability to almost uh, take on two opponents at once that are perhaps uh, better trained than you are, while well, at least are expected to be. And so you've come to. And I suppose, um, if you often ask, well, did it work? Uh, it, it, it was different. What happened? What do you remember? I remember punch I, po I point at one of the I remember punching that guy in the face. Oh yeah, that definitely happened. Yeah. You, you can see a, a bruise is starting to form on his face. You punched him six times despite that you were holding a sword. <laughs> okay, I remember one. Sorry about that. I was scanning off my back if you would rather use your fist than a capable weapon. Good amount of skin off your nose, though. Not his knuckles. It'll come back. Eventually. He just kind of rubs the spot. Yeah. I think we could all use some healing. Well, we do have facilities for that. For this exact reason. If you'll both follow me. Well, all of you follow me. Suppose you two could tend to yourselves, but well. We do need someone out here watching, so I'll leave them here. Uh, she takes you uh, kind of back, and you'll see just room stockpiled with weapons and armor of all different shapes, sizes, varieties. If it's something used for battle, it's here. She'll kind of come over here and open the door for you. Alright. Um, I'll go fetch the cleric assigned for healing today. So, uh, if you two will simply... Well, if at least he will have a seat. You don't really need it. You stabbed me. You'll be fine. It was a flesh wound, most. But fine, if you're such a big baby, go have a seat as well. I'll be back in a moment with someone to seat the two of you. Uh, Aurelion, do you go in? Oh no. Where'd he go? Shouldn't have done that. You sent him into uh, oblivion. 
appears to be on the upper floor. There yeah. we go. Trying to move on the, the lower floor should be a little difficult sometimes. Teleportation. Yeah. What, what? Did you teleport him? I did. Okay. Making sure that the layers weren't, like, glitching out on me again. How do you feel? Uh, I don't know. It's weird. Weird. I always feel a little bit tired when I wake up. Well, I still feel tired, but it's just different kind of tired. I think that's your very your fighting style. You often leave yourself very open to attack more aggressively. Maybe if you were not blacking out, more in control of it, you'd be less tired afterward. Hmm. You have to figure out that one. Well, you seem to have a memory of it this time, at least. Do you feel like it was beneficial to come here? Uh, it could only be. I mean, if something had to be done. About that time, uh, you'll see a uh, woman kind of dressed in robes and things, uh, you know, bearing the symbol of Corridor come in. All right. Um, you are the two needing healing, correct? Yes. They're yep. both in fights. Very well. Uh, she'll use. A combination of the uh, life clerics uh, domain ability, which I can't remember what it's called. The channel divinity one. Yeah, that one. Oh, I should know this. Um, which will bring Aurelion back up to half, and then. Uh, a single casting of, well, I guess two castings of Cure Wounds. Are we full? I'm finding that out now because I'm rolling some dice. Oh. So, Aurelion, you go to half, and then you get an additional, um, uh, an additional 15 HP. And... And, uh, and Askel, you get 14, which I believe does top you off. Good. I believe I only took 10, 12. That yep. is my reflection. If they decided to attack me, I'm going to make them spend the healing to fix it. Alright. Well, that should uh, have you patched up for today. Thank you. Should things still be problematic uh, tomorrow, feel free to come back and I'll see if there's something further that needs to be done. Shall we go find the others, Aurelion? Yeah, I think so. And so with that, I'm going to switch back over to the other uh, two at this point, as we have lost an Ari from Discord, but we're almost done, so I'm going to just continue on. So, 
Uh, Dirk and Melsuri, uh, you had found an entry as to your uh, mysterious myth, and I had asked if you were looking for something in particular so that I could try and give you the information you wanted. What do you want? <laughs> what do I want? Um, well, first off, I want to I wanna go back to something that Thorin said. Um, I wanted to clarify. He mentioned the king had, like, uh, given his particular connection to the Forgotten Fortress. Um, he might have the stuff in his personal collection. Is his personal connection something that we're already aware of? Nope. Very so interesting. Um... That is then something Gosh, that I want to ask you about. Um, but I guess I guess first let's uh, um, look at the wizard. Um, who we're off to see. Anyway, um, I guess I'm kind of most curious if, if there's any thoughts in this retelling what those stores of knowledge might include, what that guardian might be, um, what might have happened to the wizard, and, and how the sending sent back was received, like who received it, whatever. And I have these written down like a copy and paste all right, you might have to ask some of that again due to someone on your end uh, doing an awful lot of Yeah, things. I know. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Dad, everyone. Um, I, I just copied and pasted yeah. it into uh, Discord. Sorry. I had it written. Child. <laughs> So... Okay, anyway, since I have written it in, uh... All right. Um, <laughs> as it seems, uh, that AI could use a little more time to come up with, uh, good answers to these questions, and that, you know, some people have dropped and communications have broken down, I'm gonna call it there for today. And I will try and come up with responses uh, in the interim. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, well, I hope y'all had fun. And I hope to see you guys next week. You still good for that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'll be um, back at um, Baron's house by then, so I should be fine. Ooh. Alrighty. Then I hope to see you all then. Alright. Thanks for okay. hosting. Good night, lovely people. I'm glad we got some more story for Aurelion. That was good. Yeah. Nope. Fine by the seeing my pants a bit there, because I had no idea that was coming, but <laughs> I am I'm doing what I can here. Good experience. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, Aurelion. If uh, at some point when you have some free time, I'd like to talk to you about kind of the direction you'd like for this to go so I can try and um, work that in at some point. Yep. Uh, with that said, it is somewhat late and I could use some dinner. So I'm going to hop I off. I need my sleeps. Okay. All right. I'm going to run too. Bye, stream. Bye-bye.